I need a business plan, although I don't need the money, I don't need an investor? Yes. Absolutely, yes. We get that one a lot. Uh, business plans are painful to write. Um, and maybe the maybe the best way for me to explain this to you is I write books for a living. I, the, part of our practice is we write a book and then the publisher publishes the book and then the bookstore sells the book. Writing a book is painful. You'd be amazed the number of people that I meet. Oh, you write books and, and I, hey, it's not Hemingway. It's a book. It's a how-to book. But it's painful. It takes an unbelievable amount of hours. It takes your guts. For the book to be good, you're going to have to pour your guts. You got to get sweaty with it. You got to you got to fight the bad days when it's difficult to write. You got to fight the bad ideas you got to fight and fight and fight and fight, and it takes a long time. And at the end, you have a book. And everybody says, oh, I've always wanted to write a book. What do I have to do? Well, you got to gut yourself like that, take your guts out, flop it on the table, spend the next year writing it, and then you will see if anybody will actually buy one. There's no guarantee they'll buy one. If you haven't done it, you don't know the pain. Now, I tell you all that not to impress you, but to impress upon you. A business plan is the exact same. I've written dozens of them for myself and for my businesses. And for others, I can tell you it's easier for me to write a business plan for myself than it is for others. Because I know what I think, I know how I feel. We also ghostwrite books. Ghostwriting of books is more difficult than writing one for myself. But either way, a business plan, if you're writing it for yourself, is like a book that you're writing for yourself that hopefully somebody will buy. Okay, A business plan for others is like ghostwriting a book for someone else that hopefully somebody will buy. Well, in the case of a book, I'm trying to get them to buy a book for 20, 25 bucks. For a business plan, you're trying to get somebody to invest hundreds of thousands and possibly millions of dollars. And that person may be you. You already got the money. Really, what you're trying to do by writing a business plan is to inspire yourself to say, you know what, I need to stroke the check. And if you don't ever get to that point, you're asking the business to fail. Because the first time something bad happens, You won't be connected. You won't be committed. If someone reads our books and contacts us and says, I don't like your material, which it doesn't happen that often, but it happens, I don't care. Right? You can't care because I wrote the book for myself. Well, same with the business plan. You don't put forth the guts in the business plan, the sweat, the agony, the passion. Even if you don't need the money from outsiders, you haven't sold yourself. And I think the likelihood of failure would be super, super high without it. So to answer your question, do the business plan. Take the time. By the way, it's going to take months. I don't think people understand 
the amount of time it takes to write a business plan. It's literally 100 hours of work, easy. And if you're good, it's 99 hours. There's no way around it. You got to create it from scratch. You got to you got to have the you got to have all the components of it. The executive summary, the concept design and layout, the logo, why you're doing what you're doing, the demographics. <laughs>